I have been doing multiplication with my seven-year-old. Hey everybody, my name is Shauna, and if you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. We are in our seventh year of homeschooling. We have a second grader and a sixth grader. Today, I am coming here to share with you how we are tackling multiplication in second grade. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. Um, I will not gatekeep. If you're just here to see inside the Matthew C. Gamma program, um, I have timestamps right down below, so you can just click it and jump to the spot that you need to, uh, because that is our. Um, our curriculum for teaching multiplication to our second graders. So let me give you the backstory. The backstory is I have a second grader. Oh, what? Yes. So you guys know a lot of the bulk base of our kits is timber doodle curriculum kits. They're non-religious kits. And when we purchased for our, our sixth grader was in second grade was my first time purchasing with them and our first exposure to the Matthew C program. I love the Matthew C program. I love it. I've used every level all the way up to pre-algebra because we now have officially cycled back through what my older one used to my younger one. My younger one is a level ahead of where my older one was. So I am teaching multiplication to a relatively new seven-year-old, which blows my flippin' mind every single time I stop and think about the absurdity that is our amazing homeschool life. But that Okay, so if you're unfamiliar, math you see is a multi-sensory approach. So they have like blocks that like go specifically on the page, like they fit on the page. It's the same blocks the man on the video uses. I love that it is a video that teaches my children and I am support staff because that's how I want math instruction to be. That's how everyone wants my math instruction to be. So there's a video, there's a complete like online toolbox where you can do all kinds of things online, which is amazing. I found it like a, a hingy box that fits our blocks really well. So I'll be sure to link that down below. Um, and my daughter really enjoys using just a number line. She doesn't always want to get the blocks out, which I think is totally fine. Um, so math, you see, there's the video test book, which we only use for the unit test. I'm going to talk about how we're using it all in a minute. Uh, the teacher's guide and the kids workbook. And it is like just white and plain, but it's like 20 math problems a day. It's not, nobody's drowning in this. There's no need. Um, and then the video online and the, the optional extra digital stuff online. So Matthew Z takes a mastery approach, which can really make you sweat in those elementary years, those kind of middle elementary years, because from the traditional spiral model at a public school, it goes pew. But we have now come all the way back, so we're okay. It's okay. It's possible out there. But like you learn all single a digit, single digit addition and subtraction at once. And then the next year you learn all single digit addition and subtraction or multiple digit addition and subtraction at once. The next year you learn all multiplication, then all division. The way that they build on each other like little stacking blocks is truly I think the biggest difference in this program so my second grader could do has had the easiest time learning to multiply by twos tens and fives because the previous levels of this program have drilled skip counting into her so well and again, it's not suffocating. I'll tell you how we use it when I'm doing the flip through because that's the easiest way to, I think to give that explanation. But she's getting it and it's blowing my mind. So here's how what we've done. Here's what we've done. Let me do this before I give you the downshot. So what we have done, we cut because I knew that she was going in. So she's young for her grade level. And then Gamma, her sister did it in third grade. So she's, it makes me feel like, I always get tentative of whether or not she's ready, but she's totally ready. Um, and so I knew that it was coming. And, and in my anticipation of being a little apprehensive about these mega concepts, uh, we, we, we primed the prompt, we primed the pump. We grease the skids. We're using the, um, the math wrap-ups that come in the timber doodle kits. They're so cute. They like, it's like a key 
and a string. And I remember playing with them when I was little. And you flip it over and see if you're right. It's, a, I'll try to find a picture right here somewhere. Um, but they're amazing. Then we also, over summer, um, and still now, occasionally, she likes to watch the little Times Tales video, which has like little stories that go along with multiplication. So we did that, we did that, and Schoolhouse Rock has multiplication rock. So we're doing that. So we did all of this to get the wheels turning, to get it going, before we started using the Matthew C multiplication program, the Matthew C Gamma. And now it is awesome. It's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. So while Matthew C does take the approach of like, we do all of this now. So as you get, and I'll show you this in a second, but as you get to the systematic reviews, it goes back and reviews those concepts from last year. So addition, subtraction, addition with regrouping, subtraction with regrouping. So they're making sure that they're staying like on it. And I just, I cannot believe if you are thinking, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? How, multiplication is big. How am I going to do this? I'm going to, I'm going to tell you, you should look into the math you see program. It's really amazing. It truly is amazing for math. If you're struggling with math at all, look into it because I never would have guessed if you had told me, and even still, and I say this all the time, math is not my strong suit. It's just not. So at any point it gets hard, I'm going to tap out. And I feel like, I mean, honestly, I probably already have because I use the answer guide to like check everything and I use the video to like teach most things. But it has given me, myself, a confidence to teach math that I still can't believe that I have that. I, I mean, I never would have expected that never, ever. And I, I you would, can probably, you probably know, or you are a person math. Uh, most people say they're not good in it or they're not strong in it. So I think the fact that I can feel good about teaching it is, is hugely thanks to the math UC program, but also to Timberdoodle for introducing me to it. So before I yabber on anymore, I'm going to leave you with a little down shot. We're going to look through everything um, and then we'll come back and chat again. Okay, guys. So here is Gamma from Matthew C, which is single and multiple digit multiplication. Um, I have, I think I even have a video already on this level from when my older daughter did it. But just in case, I'm going to give you the quick flip through again. I ordered the package that comes with online access the DVD, the test booklet, the instructor manual, and the student workbook. Now, something that is really helpful is I did already have this for my older daughter, so I only had to get the student workbook and the test pack, and it comes packaged like this, significantly um, huge savings over doing the whole thing again. So we've got a DVD where Mr. Demi explains it all. The instructor manual has a breakdown of each lesson, including the answers in the back. The tests are unit tests. So each level, each lesson has a test. There's 30 lessons. And then every so many lessons, there is a unit exam, which then covers those kind of chunk of lessons ahead of it. Now, the way that we use this, as you can see in the student workbook, it's very plain. It's black and white. There's not too many questions on each page. I think the most you get is like 20. It's just, it's not too heavy. It's not a lot. And so I really do like it for that reason. It is broken down. Let me find you a lesson here. Uh, lesson practice for 12A, 12B, and 12C. And then systematic review for 12D, 12E, and 12F. And then G is application and enrichment, and it's how you can apply these things to kind of your real life. And the way that we do it is we will watch our DVD on Monday for Mom and Me Monday. We will do one page on Monday to see if we've got kind of a firm handle on it, on the concept. If we do, then we will skip B and do C on Tuesday. If we're still doing well, we skip, skip D and do E on Wednesday. And then if we're still doing well, we will do 
F and possibly G if they want to on Thursday. And that is how we use the Matthew C Gamma program. Well, that's actually how we use all of the Matthew C programs. Well, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this look into the Matthew C Gamma program. If you, and of course I'm gonna be doing my updates, right? So my quarterly, half year, third quarter, all of that. But as of now, my seven-year-old has covered and mastered multiplying by zero because I love the way that Mr. Demi says it. He gives you like, they give you a printout of all the multiplication facts and he's like, you only need to know this and he divides it in half. Why? Because it's mirrored. This down here is the same as this up here. So you really only need to know this triangle. So she has like a little chart and she checks it off or draws shapes or whatever as she masters it. But we've got zeros, ones, twos, fives, tens. So zeros, twos, fives, tens. We're almost halfway through. Okay, we're almost halfway through the multiplication thing. And then I think as you get to, I think it's four and five, you actually only need to learn like two or three problems because you've already learned the other ones from the other numbers. So I'm excited. That's all you need to know. I think it's going great. I can't believe we enjoy math. Like that's a boo. Okay, if, if I just, I never would have guessed that in my homeschool, my one that that I would feel good about teaching it, but two, that like, it'd go well. I just, what? Okay. So anyways, guys, I hope you found it as helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on that bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. Uh, again, huge, huge fan of the Matthew C program, programs, all of them, every one of you so far. Uh, and making multiplication easy because, oh, yes. And thank you to Timber Doodle for introducing us to this amazing program.